ServiceNow came to market as a IT service management platform in the cloud and really tried to change the way people are really approaching IT operations. We're approaching three and a half thousand customers. A lot of the global 2000s are big customers of ours too. Time is critical. You know, you get an application down, you may be losing money if it's the middle of the day, and that's the problem you want to fix. Email is a fire and forget technology. You know, yes, you can have read receipts, but there's no real guarantee I'm going to get a response, I'm going to get the right kind of response. So, say something bad happens in the middle of the night in your data center, an application falls over, whatever it is. I need to know that Chris is the guy that's on call for this week. Every corner we turned with Twilio and their APIs, we found a new feature. So if Chris didn't respond, we know who the secondary on call person was. Don't sit and wait 15 minutes, immediately escalate and go up the path. And if we can cut that time to resolution down just by making smarter decisions with phone calls, then surely everybody starts to win. How you respond and react is almost more important now than the fact that the technology fell over in the first place. In picking Twilio, you know, we kind of went down this road of exposing their APIs, and what we found very quickly was they had everything we needed. So they deliver the voice and the SMS, and that was the how. Now it was how do we build the solution in service now to take advantage of that to solve the problems that our customer is asking us to solve. I don't have to worry if I'm working with, you know, a Verizon or an AT&T and who they're bonded with or partnered around the world. I'm just firing a message and expecting a response and I got it very quickly. It was a no-brainer type situation. Twilio has the scale, they've got the performance and they had the reliability. The beauty of it is its simplicity and if it's simple, people are going to use it.